Janet. I live here in the city of Pompano Beach and I'm here to talk to you about kindness rocks. Kindness rocks are painted rocks that you put around your area for others to find. They could have a message or an image and the whole idea behind it is just the right message or just the right image at the right time can really brighten someone's day. You can also paint the rocks to put in your own garden or leave around your own condos or apartments. It's a lot of fun and it's a great activity to do with the families. If you are going to put them out in the public areas, you do need to follow a few rules. You don't want to put them in any areas where someone could trip, so no walkways. Also, you want to keep them out of the grass so that no lawnmowers roll over the rocks and kick them up and throw them where they could hit somebody. If you go into national parks, they ask that we don't leave them. And also Disney is one of the places that doesn't like us to leave the, the rocks. Uh, for more information about that, you can look at the Leave No Trace website and they give you some ideas on that. So today, what I'm gonna do is talk to you about painting rocks. The city has graciously made the packets for you. So everything you need to paint a ladybug rock will be in there. You can paint any image you want, but I figured we'd start with ladybugs because we're getting into spring and spring is a beautiful time to update our gardens and add some extra color and get out of the house because we've all been locked up for so long. The pictures behind me are just ones I've done. Like again, I said, I'm not a formal artist, but I will do my best to help you and let you step-by-step step how to do a ladybug. Your kit will include paint, paintbrushes, rocks, and the video will be your instructions. So stay tuned and let's paint some rocks. Here we are again. As promised, we're back. And now we're gonna paint some ladybugs. I'm gonna show you how you can turn rocks into these cute little ladybugs. Now in your kit, you had just a few paint colors. We have white, black, and red. And I'll tell you what we are going to do. We got a paintbrush. We have a little bit of water here. And then also we have a paper towel because you never know if you're going to need it. <laughs> so we'll keep that handy. So the first thing you need to do is get your rocks that come in the bag out and just wash them up so they're not too dusty. I've already washed this rock already. I'm going to kind of show you the steps that we go through and then we'll do a little bit of painting. Then you want to paint the rock. Now the rocks... They might take a couple different coats. To put the paint, you need very little paint. Always shake your bottle, okay? Just make sure you get it all shaken up. And then you wanna just put a little dab of paint here. You can always add more. And then you wanna put some coats on. You'll probably have a little bit bigger paint brushes. Okay, so you wanna add some coats. What I wanna show you here is, as you're painting, you wanna to try to keep your brush strokes the same direction so that you don't have um, too many lines in your ladybugs. I'm going to rinse that off. But to see if something is dry, you want to hold it up to the light and see if it's shiny. If it's shiny, that means it's still wet, so you want to give it some more time. In between your colors, you want to make sure that your rocks are totally dry so you don't have any muddy colors. So once the red is dry, then you can put the black be careful with the black, it does go a, a pretty long way, so you just need a little bit. Do your lines as straight as you can. If you want, you can curve them, okay? And then you have the choice. If you want a ladybug that has a split down her back, you just put the line here and then make her little backside so that she has wings. So once you decide which style of ladybug you want, then you can put dots, and I did two here. I did one with smaller dots and one with bigger dots. The easiest way to do a dot, let's get some black paint here. Whoops, oh, I just made my whole thing. Sorry. <laughs> all right, you wanna make sure you've got all your color off. Just kind of dab it up there. Now there's a couple ways to do the dots. So let's shake, 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 shake. This paint's a little bit thicker. All right, so let's put a, just a little bit here. You don't need very much to make the dots. Oops, all right. You can either use the back end of your paintbrush or you can use the paintbrush itself. So let's say we were going to make some dots on this rock here. You just kind of put a little dot and then circle, circle, circle. And get it as circle-y as possible. They don't have to be perfect circles because ladybugs don't always have perfect circles. Or you can take the, the end of your paintbrush and dip it and draw and make a circle. You can also use the end of a pencil or a pencil eraser. So that's how you make your little dots. Once that's totally dry, then you wanna to go to the faces. And there's a couple ways to do the eyes. 
You can do a round eye like I did here. You want to start with your white and give your white enough time to dry. Or you can do an angle like with that so it shows the curve. Once the white is completely dry, you can either put a dot for the eye or you can do a long eyeball that way. And then here you can see I did two different colored faces. I did a red smiling face and I did a white smiling face. Again, I just used the end of my paintbrush, dipped the paint, and I did a little curve just like that. Now let's say we didn't like this white. I wanted to make it red. I could dip this in the red and follow along and color over. So that's one good thing about the paint. If you change your mind about colors, you can always change them. So you can see how you can either use the end of your pen, pen or um, paintbrush, or you can actually use the paintbrush end to paint. So let's put that to the side. Now on this one here, you'll notice I made little pink dots for cheeks. So all I did was mix a little bit of our red and a little bit of our white to get this pink color to make the pink cheeks. So again, our steps are take a rock, paint it red, make sure it's completely dry. See, this one's not dry yet. <laughs> then you want to put your little red head on the, or black for the head on the top. You want to add your dots in the decoration that you want. And then you put on the face. Now, when you're all done, if you want to write on the back, Pompano Rocks, we do have a Pompano Rocks page. Or if you want to learn more about painting rocks, you can go to Broward County Rocks and there's some tips there. Now, I also, if you are so inclined to go purchase some other paint colors, I was able to take some of my other paint colors that I had. Let's move these out of the way. And I made ladybugs in all different colors. So I just want to show you there's no right or wrong way to paint. Everybody's style is unique and different. You don't even have to put dots. You could put hearts. You could do other different designs. Some I put some antennas. I did dotted antennas here. I did solid antenna here. And then I did a flower in her hair here. So this is just to give you some ideas. Um, I hope you have fun painting and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.